No, no, no. Forget about the back for now. It's all about the sides. Are you in the Are you in the industry or? Oh no, I just. No. Oh wow. Right. You're very fussy. You ever have guys crying this chair? You just cut us off. Right guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Ariel in the chair. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You good? Good, good, mate. Good, good. You're very welcome, mate. Thanks for applying. Um, what are we doing today? What's the plan? Um, so I was thinking of kind of um, a trim. Not really. So the last barber cut my front like shorter than my back. Okay. I don't really like that. I like the front to be longer than the back. Okay. And I usually ask for it to be uh, layered backwards, so like a medium length. Definitely shorter in the back than it is in the front. And then just have it flow this way off like a three-fourths uh, part. Okay, no worries, okay. Um, it doesn't look like that from the last cut. By the yeah, last cut, the yeah. uh, barber cut me going this way. Right, okay. three-fourths, and that really f uh, um, took it off point, because I like the front to have more volume and yeah. sit to the side, and I was just being weighed down. Right, okie okay, dokie. Okay. Um, let's have a little look. Cause I, thought it, I thought it was cut to the center. Because it, it was, it looks like it was cut to the center. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's falling that way. Cut. I wanted it this way. Yeah. So the barber tried correcting it. Oh, right. Okay. That makes sense then. Yeah. Okay, cool. No worries. So wearing it over, just like you said, three quarters of a part from the front yeah. there. Yeah. Like, like around here. Yeah. Oh, just off center. Okay. Yeah. Off yeah. Center, okay. Off center. Okay. So say three quarters. I was thinking that was more to one side. Okay. Off center. Yeah. That's fine. Well, to be honest, if I'm doing a cut like this, I don't tend to cut it into the part. Because it falls better when you wear. If you cut it more uniform, it falls better for you mm -hmm. than cutting it into a part. Because what will happen is if we cut it into this part, and for example, say it was just here, just for example, if we cut this part in here, it would automatically be a very heavy weight to here. As it grows out, that wave will hold everything flatter because the weight will be here. Mm -hmm. So it's better if you just style it that way. Much, okay. much easier for okay. you. Um, so how much length do you actually want off? Oh, so forget, um, forget about the top for now. Let's look at the back and sides. How much are you thinking? Hmm. I mean, I mean, it's very long in the back here now. Yeah. Um, I don't know, what would you reckon? Two to three? Inch, or two inches? Um, because I, it gets weighed down here. Yeah. And then here falls flat. So something, something where I can maintain the waves going down to the back. Right, and okay. And then taking that up a little bit more at the bottom there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, we can do that. I think, I think the best thing to do is see whatever needs to be balanced to make the front look longer, really, yeah. I think. Do you want much off the front, or are you happy with the length on the front? Obviously, we can balance it and stuff, but... Yeah, you could balance it. You could take it off, like, half an inch. Half an inch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Everything cool. Looks good. Okay, okay, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Let's have a look at your neckline. Okay, yeah, your neckline will fall nicely, actually. Yeah, we'll be okay with that. Okay. Uh, what about around the ears, on the sides? These bits um, here. How much do you want to take off them? Yeah, usually those shorter. So yeah. I'll just have the front lie over it and this just falls in as it gets shorter. Okay, is it normally taken off the ear or on the ear still? Where would it normally sit? Um, it's taken like right above the ear. Oh, and then I usually ask, they usually do all scissors. I really haven't gotten a trimmer or had it trimmed in a while. That's fine. So I usually just take it to the right above the ear and then it just falls like across the side. Right, okay, cool, cool. Right, okay. But, yeah. So is this a, is this a haircut you you weren't happy with last time? I wasn't the time before. I really liked. Yeah. Okay. And then I went back and. Okay. Doesn't look like it's much longer, you know. Really? No. Yeah. Definitely not long. It's definitely not short on the front. It was definitely growing uneven. The front was way. But by, by the time this fell in, this was already like all poofing out. Hmm. Uh, across the back. How are you looking after your hair? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you looking after it well? Are you looking after your hair? Are you shampooing it right and conditioning it yeah. properly? Yeah. Okay. I think just the, the texture itself is very brittle and frizzy. Yeah. I mean, one explanation would be that if it's poofing out, it could be either it was thinned out wrong. Mm -hmm. Because generally, when you thin out hair, if you're using the traditional method of using like a thinning scissor or texturizing scissors, depending on what you call them, you basically just cut shorter layers straight all the way through the hair. Yeah. And what that does, the shorter hair, grows outwards and it pushes these bits out. Yeah. And just I'm thinking just by the ends of the hair being so kind of broken and brittle almost, it looks as though that's kind of happened. Yeah. That could be one of the reasons why it's proofing out a bit more. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't tell you properly, but I think that might be the way. If I go through it later, I'll be able to see it a bit more. But okay. Um, yeah, okay. You seem quite, quite precise in what you want. I'll, uh, I'll try my best to get it bang on uh, for you. I'm a new freak, so okay. Um, okay. Are you in the, are you in the industry or? Oh, no, I just... No? Oh, wow. I do a lot of self-research on hair. 
Okay, yeah, cool. I mean, look, that's good, man. That's good. Yeah. That is good. Okay, cool, man. Well, let's get you gowned up and then um, we'll get started. Let me just cut a sec. Right, just one quick one. I just, I, I, my only thing is I'm not, I'm not trying to make it really hard for you. I just, what you're, what you're, what you're asking for is almost contradicting what I'm trying yeah, to understand, you know? So yeah. you want to take this pin here, but you want the waves to fall into the back, but then you want it to sit just over the ear, but you want the fringe longer than the, you know what I mean? There's okay, quite yeah, a lot yeah, of things yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't just kind of do like the little bits. I've got to kind of make it all okay. fall into one, you know? And you want volume at the front. It's just an awful lot to try and take on. When I don't know whether it's when I don't really know where we're what where we're going with it, if you know what I mean. So let's, can we can we start again yeah, a little bit and just yeah. um, kind of figure out where we're going because yeah. I don't want to I don't want it to not be right. I just want to get it right for you. Yeah, you see, yeah. and obviously I know you you know you you, you know a lot about you've like you said yourself research. So I want to make sure we get the right cuff for yeah. you, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. Let, let's just let's just go back to a little bit of. Let me suggest something to you. Yeah. yeah all right. Because I don't, I don't want it to, I don't, because I just don't think it's making, it's not making much sense to me. No, that's no, all. No. All right. It does happen. Look, you're not the only one. It, do, it does happen. Um, I just make, yeah, I just don't want it to be confusing. Because when I watch the videos also, I take what you say and then I apply it to like, I, I look for videos of my hair type. Yeah. And I listen to what you say. So I want other people, if they're listening to it, to understand what they want also. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you, I mean, yeah, it's nice that you want to be informative, but to be honest, I think the best thing for you to do is just enjoy the haircut and enjoy <laughs> enjoy being on the film more than uh, oh, yeah. having to give advice. But no, I mean, all I want to do is I want to try and give you the off-centre part that you want straight away. Okay. I want to get the lift up here for you, but I just want to know exactly how much length you want off the back and sides because at the moment, you've got almost like two different lengths. You've got a shorter length here and then an undercut length sitting over it as well. Yeah. So. Do you want this to be more balanced or do you want this to actually fall together within the haircut? What um, do you think? By more balanced, we just getting rid of this. No, no, no. Forget about the back for now. Okay. Talk about the sides. the sides. Do you want this to be blended in so there's not a, such a heavy ho overhang or would you prefer it um, to be still hanging over on the top? No, the I, don't like, I, don't, I don't like having the long length here. Okay, yeah. I don't like the long length here. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And do you want that? So when it comes over the ears, that's how much we would have to take off for that to sit above the ear. Do you see what I mean? So we're gonna have to lose like that much. That's fine. Are you sure? You yeah. don't mind going that short, yeah? I don't mind. Okay. Because I might be as short as the, I could try and do it a little bit longer than the, the first picture you showed me. Okay. All right. Um, but do you want this overhang sitting over it or do you want that to blend in more? No, because this usually overhang, I usually like this having like a little like curtain in the front, but all of this is just to me an excess that I really don't need. This is excess. Yeah. I don't care about this. It's right, but you like that little curl at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right, okay, let's let's just isolate that for a minute then. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we'll take it off the ear. Yeah, exactly. Definitely off the ear. I just don't know whether, it, I don't know whether <laughs> it is going to be off the ear though. Honestly, I'm telling you, what, whatever you like. Yeah. I, whatever you think is proper. I know okay. You, also, I know you like to use thinning, uh, the thinning razor, but you don't think I need that, right? I just base it on whatever the haircut okay. needs, to be honest. I never normally get someone, I mean, this is a positive thing. You're very fussy, which is a good thing, because I like the fact that you know what you want, but most of the people who come in don't tend to kind of like pick out certain bits of the hair and they want this bit like oh, this and that. Hair. It's good, no, it's good, it's good. But I don't want it to be too constricted that I want it to be done someone else's way, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I want to yeah. be able to still put my spin on it. Whatever, whatever you think, I'm just telling you, I don't like having like this come out like this. Yeah. So that's why I say shorter, because then I just brush it back. Okay. And, 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 I, don't, and I don't care, because usually I don't care about the back. Okay. I usually just care about the front look, having the volume. Okay. And like the mid, like just falling here, and like, because this gets wavy here. Yeah. And I like that. And then the back, I really like, don't care. Right, okay. All right then, I think, I think we're, I know we're up to. And oh, then yeah. I trust you fully. <laughs> this is fun. Trust me fully after the list of I things love, we need to do. Okay, I yeah, love, that's good. Cool. I, I love telling barbers just like, or hairstylists, do what you think. Yeah. You always have such a creative mind. And like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, it's easy to do that. But I'll tell you the only problem is, is when someone tells you do what you think at, before they give you a list of particular things they like. Because then that way you're kind of, uh, you're yeah. limited on what, I can't really do what I think then, yeah. you know? Because I'll just give you my feedback on the front. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if this is so intense, this is just no, how I am, no, I all right? Like I, I don't mean to be. Really um, it's hard to create volume 
when there's no support anywhere else. Yeah. Okay? So by taking these bits that you don't really want, and then having this to sit in that kind of wave, it's very hard to create the volume for it to sit into something okay. because you need to support the volume, okay? So you, you can't really just isolate a front and then blow dry it up. Well, you can, but it won't last. It'll look good for like about an hour, but then it will fall. Yeah. And it always want to try and build that up. Even with a razor, you can still try and build that up. So you see these little side bits here, leaving this separate and then taking the back in a little bit, I think the graduation would fit better for you. Mm -hmm. And I think you can still isolate the fringe, just the volume might be quite a hard thing to, okay. to achieve. Like, it's hard to show the volume, this is how you usually do it. It'll be like volume here and then like to the side, but it's just too long right now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like have this over the front, but it'll be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I mean, you have that like little, uh, little S scale in it. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that. That, that, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. I think I know where we're going, yeah. Right, sounds good, but yeah, but if you decide, if, like, if you feel that you have to do something, I'm telling you, <laughs> This is so fun, but whatever you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever I want, except as long as we get volume in the front, yeah? As long as you don't take a buzzer straight down the middle. Would I do that to you? Would I ever do Have you ever seen me do that before? I saw Mr. Bean. Oh, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, well, well, no, we don't do that, mate. <laughs> Thankfully not, we don't do that. All right, but if you want to take your glasses off for me, okay. and then we'll, we'll give it all a, a, a wet down for you. Wow, that was intense, that, mate. You seem to know what you want, man. I think twice a year. Yeah, but I do think that, and, I'm, and I don't mean this to sound horrible, but I do think that you might be slightly giving too much to someone yeah. to try and get right. You know, I think you might have to stick to that one person does it exactly right every yeah. single time because you, you are quite particular. It's not a bad thing. It's just finding the right barber that's particular for you. Yeah. Um, you've got to vibe with them. You know, you've got to get that same vibe as them as well. You know what I mean? Like you can have a laugh with them and all that. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it can, it could work out to be disastrous you know what i mean so yeah because it, it was just up until 2020 2021 i started growing it out because before then i just had yeah buzz the sides short front so what, what sort of um research were you doing on your hair then were you looking at like were you reading about face shapes and hair types and stuff oh or? yeah well, yeah it's just like the shallow part um okay also a lot about hair care oh right, right. different products yeah yeah shoes, um hair types yeah Nice. I, I always find that the problem is like this job is so sort of kind of contradictory sometimes because if you read like say a magazine, famous magazine, and they're talking about um, face shapes, right? Yeah. You can go onto a different magazine and the, the suggested haircut for that face shape is totally different to the suggested yeah. haircut for the other magazine, you know? It's very hard to find the right info. I mean, we even, we even struggle. Sometimes when I try and get things on Google for people, I'm like, just Google this for me. You know, it might, might give you an indication, but then there's 10 websites that tell you something totally different. You know, it's very hard to, to know. Best thing to do if you want to know your face shape, a little, little tip. If you've got a comb, just let me move them over there. If you've got a comb at home, which I'm sure you probably do, the best way to know what your face shape's like, you put the comb on the side, okay, of your cheeks. Do you want to put your glasses on so you can see? You know, pop them on for me so you can have a little look and then you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. So get yourself a, a decent sized comb, like a long yeah. one like this, right? And what you do is you place comb on the cheek, oh, just on the cheekbone, just right down the side, right? And that's the angle you need to be wearing your hair at, okay? That's the shape you should be creating to really enhance your face shape, okay? That, that's that what I was saying at the start when about you picking specific things and that. I, I wouldn't even have had time to go through this with you because you knew exactly what it is you wanted, mm -hmm. which is a, not a bad thing. But then when it comes to suggesting something, when someone's so so set on something that yeah. they want, it eradicates my suggestions because I'm like, well, you already know what you want, so there's no point in me adding anything in. Whereas if you're a bit more open exactly, yeah. to certain things, that will allow me to say, well, actually, do you know what? Have you ever thought about maybe tapering a, a, a tiny bit in here and keeping that weight sitting through there? That will allow the flow. There's little things that we can talk about them that would really help. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that, and then you bring it over, it can caves quite a lot on the sides there. So to say you've almost, you've got a very, I'd say slightly, it could be, it could be classed as slightly diamond because the cheekbones are can, uh, st stick out more than here. Yeah. As you can see the difference mm -hmm. in the in the height there. So I think having length down the bottom or having length, not keeping enough length through the corners here w would actually change your face shape. It would actually make your face look rounder. Oh, okay. Um, so I think, can I use that? And can I take that into account as we're cutting yeah. the haircut? Yeah, so I'll still try and do exactly what you want. Oh, yeah, 
yeah. but I'll just take a few things in that I can see that would that would kind of work based on your face shield. If that's all right, yeah. Yeah, I'm very valuable. Cool, man. Cool. Let me do them off your foot. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna work on the horseshoe section for this haircut because I wanna again I wanna get everything right and I wanna make sure that we're working step by step through the back and side. So we section sectioning everything off allows me to take my time working through what we want to do. So what I'm going to do on this particular um, side here is going to try and take into account the finished look that we're trying to achieve. But I also want to take into account face shape because that's kind of how I work. I work on based on face shape. And, I, and again, I, I don't want to get to the wrong impression, but I will do anything that people want. But it's got to be, for me, I can't do something if I don't think it's going to look right at the end. It's just, I just can't. I don't know, I don't know why, I just can't. Um, and what I want to do is try and incorporate every single thing that we've spoken about, but along with the kind of um, maybe working on a bit more of a, a bit more of a corner through the top. I think that really help as well when it comes to balancing the fringe out, because by leaving leaving the fringe a little bit disconnected, um, will kind of help with that kind of wave that we're trying to achieve. Hundred percent. And obviously you know how to do it as well because yeah, that, that photo I seen was really cool. It looked nice. Um, I think, obviously I just want to make sure that that balance is in because I've never done this this haircut before. So I want to make sure that I'm getting my understanding of it first as well as trying to work on only, only cutting it the way I know which is following face shapes and stuff. So as long as we can get that bang on, I think it'll work out quite nicely. So where are you from in the States? I'm from New York. New York, nice oh, yeah. one. I love New York. <laughs> I really do. I was in the Hamptons a couple of years ago, actually. Yeah, in, uh, in Montauk. Yeah, yeah that's, Montauk. Where, that's where I'm from, Long Island. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. I spent all my summers in Montauk. Yeah, Montauk's nice amazing, features. man. Yeah, it's incredible. Right, guys. So I've just sectioned off the top and, and opened up the back and sides. So this is going to let me see now exactly what the last haircut was done like, but also how to move into this new haircut, too. So I'm going to switch combs. Now, we want to take off something that's coming over the ears, so not a short. What was that, that haircut you showed me? It was quite, quite short, wasn't it, on the back and sides that yeah. you had done, yeah? So we want to still keep some length in it, but we want it to flow into the back. So I want to, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to create a nice sort of shape sitting into the back to here, to like sort of the centre back, and then I'll just try and taper the rest away, but not going, obviously, too short. That is the plan. I'm going to be doing maybe like a sort of two-finger uh, width section. That's probably the best way to describe it. As you can see as well, the temple comes quite far over on here. So we're actually bringing this quite far back. But that will, that's really good because we can strengthen up the hairline here as well. So that'll really, really help. Right, so I reckon about that much will be fine. I'm sure I want that in. As you can see, just bringing my fingers a bit closer into the ear. So what I'll do is just leave a tiny bit more at the top. But then it will allow us for that to sit nice and back, okay? But then by doing that, we'll create a nice taper into the bottom. And I'm, I'm, a taper of my of my understanding though, so not a kind of straight in with the clippers kind of fade or anything like that, more of a just getting rid of any of the un unwanted and necessary hair that we don't need for this hairstyle. As you can see, this is getting much longer as we get to this back bit here. Um, which again, we don't need all that length neither. So we should work it on this angle. And I think as we've seen before, when you use the comb, it kind of shows you the angle you should really cut it at to get the best out of the face shape of anybody that, you, that you, you're dealing with, not, not just on this particular look, but on, on any, any hairstyle and any, and any look you're trying to create. I could point out a couple of, um, couple of pictures when you, if, you know, if you, ever, if you ever come across some, just, just get your comb, it might sound a bit mad, right? But if you're looking at a photograph, get your comb and place it alongside the, the photograph. If the face on, place it along the side and you'll be able to see where the, the, the head shape's working for it or not. We're doing this angle as well. As we get to the back, we're gonna leave some length through there that will allow us to, let it fall into like that kind of taper at the bottom. Because like you said, I think, I think you're, 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 you, you just brush your fingers back through into the, into the back and let it fall, don't you? That's kind of what you do. You don't really, you know, like you said, you're not too bothered about the, um, the back there, are you? How the back sits now. So I want to kind of tidy it up. And I think once we start to remove that length down the bottom, we'll be able to give a really nice finish as well. Bring that back. I should sit nice there as well. There's a guide. Now oh, 
an awful lot of hair there, can you see that? Coming through. Um, like, I also like, hate loading it up with products because my scalp would get easily um, agitated. Yeah, yeah. I just think you found a, a, a newfound uh, hobby. Oh, no. And I think you've kind of gone into it, you know, full on, which is good. I love it. As long as I'm here, yeah. Yeah, exactly, mate. Exactly. You don't know how long we'll have it for, right? So you've got to enjoy it. Bro, is that your partner sitting there? Oh, yeah, that's my friend. Your friend, yeah, okay. Yeah. What's he, is he like this with his hair all the time, yeah? yeah. yeah. Tell him what else. <laughs> tell, tell him what else. <laughs> tell, tell him what else I'm obsessed with. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh wow, okay, okay. But I think it's good for men to be able to take care of themselves. I, I agree. Know, like a lot of guys are into skincare, but luckily I don't really have, I think my skin's naturally just good. Yeah, you look like you've got like an, a good balance of oil and of, of oil in your skin actually, because it doesn't look, what it's not shiny, your skin, your, uh, your, your skin itself. I've got my friend's hair in university. Yeah, a nice mullet with a pair of no scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I seen some cracking haircuts when it was um, when it was in lockdown. People people attempting to do uh, to do some fades and stuff. Oh, it was fantastic! It, it really was harder than I thought. I tried doing it. And, yeah, it is. It it? I think that's the beauty of um, of the lockdowns. Really, is that it gave it gave us a bit more of a, a bit more respect of how hard our job actually is. Because I think people did. Or do, well, maybe not now, but did used to think our job was easy. It was just like, oh, you know, no, stand there all day having fun and you know, a really sociable job. But I think the reality is it does take a lot to, to be able to do every haircut that sits in your chair. It's very, very yeah, time consuming. Yeah. It's very hard. It it's very, you know, you've got to get, you've got to know what you're doing. It's um, years and years and years hard work. But I think it did give us a bit more of a, a bit more respect, I'd say. You did pop up my For You page on TikTok. What's that? You popped up on my TikTok a lot during COVID. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, during COVID, yeah, yeah. But hey, 200,000 plus followers now, right? Is that right then? What do I know, hey? What do I know? I just, I'm just going to stick to cutting hair. I'm just going to try and do anything else. Uh, you do my hairline's fine. Do I think your hairline's fine? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. That wasn't why I, no, that wasn't why I thought you looked 26. Oh, I mean... No, 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 also, when you're cutting, you said to strengthen the hairline. That's here. No, it's just because of how far forward it comes uh, and how weak okay. it, it is there. And like, if you were, if you go down to a one, you wouldn't tell. If I was to use a trimmer, you could just strengthen it up and it would look completely like yeah. completely fine. It's just because of how far forward it comes compared to here, it will get weaker because it's almost it is it's joining up here, so it's yeah. just a continuation, which okay. is that's why it's weak. That's all it is. Nothing major. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. Got me into hair care. What's that? I think that's what got me into the whole hair care game. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Now. Well, you just, I don't, don't think you know how long you're going to have your hair for, so you might as well look after it, right? You know? Yeah. It's like if you got given a time, say you're going to have your hair until you're 43, you probably would do do some crazy things, wouldn't you? Or, you know, if you, if you knew yeah. how long you, you're going to have with it, whereas, because we just don't know, you just take it easy, don't you? A lot of people just don't really think about it. So I'm just cutting this freehand around the ear. I'm just doing a nice natural taper into the side bends as well. So that sits just nice on top of the ear. And then we'll take it back down to the neckline, just nice and tidy. What we'll do down the bottoms, I'll just do a nice little taper down the bottoms, or nothing major, nothing too aggressive or anything like that, just smarter finish. That allows that when you pull this through, all that flows into the back. And then what we can do with that is we can allow that wave just to sit into the back as well. So try to take into account the wave pushing the hair back, so that's all sits in nice and tight. And then the taper sits into the bottom as well. Just working through my fingers, just to cut the shape in. As you can see, I'm working around the ear, and that will match up to where we tape it there. Pull that down, like so.
I'll just tie up the neckline. Just get rid of that neck here. Did you say it was it was August and she had your last haircut, is that right, buddy? Yeah, August, yeah. Wow. Have you managed to, to grow it out? Like have you just has it been difficult kind of getting used to hair growing out longer or have you just been kind of going with it and seeing what you can achieve with the hair being a bit longer? Because I've been learning new things about hair, I'm curious to test it out. Yeah, yeah, totally, I'm yeah. Grow it out and try to see it. Uh, because I learned new things that I couldn't do before. Yeah, yeah, totally, kind of yeah. Style it, so I try and use products to see uh, maybe that fix the problem I had before. But then just sometimes it gets too out of hand. Yeah, it's, it's, it really is, isn't it? It gets to a point where you just, you just stuck, right? You can't do yeah. much with it, yeah. So it's like being like, I don't know, being a college student. Yeah. And then every day, it kind of look after it, go to class, it gets busy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is worry about your hair, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the last thing you want when you're trying to study. So what's been the sort of, um, what's been the biggest revelation about your hair that you thought you'd never ever, you thought you'd never ever know or? Uh, Definitely that it was like, so when I, at first, when I started growing it out, it was like down to my chin. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it got to a point like, where I literally brush it out. I was just like, just had it flow and sit back. Yeah. And then, so, but before that, I always thought my hair was straight. But then when I grew it out, I uh, figured out it was curly. This is crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing when you don't realize you've got curly hair, right? Yeah. Do you know what, you are, you are not the only one, you know? There's so many guys out there who've grown their hair. Some people just don't genuinely know they've got curly hair. Mm -hmm. You know which videos of yours I love? Either the, like the two for one hairstyles, like you could style it two different ways. Yeah, yeah, totally. Either the curtains or the side. Yeah. Or just like, I feel like now so many people are trying to like copy the celebrity cuts. Yeah. So whether it's, like Timothy Chalamet. Oh yeah, that's like, a very really popular one. Really big one. Um, things just grew out his hair. Tom Holland. Oh, I know. Yeah, I've done. I've done the two of them already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So people are definitely be looking for something like his. Yeah. And whatever Euphoria. Have you heard of the show Euphoria? Yeah. Yeah, that's so popular in the states. Is it really? Yeah. See what haircuts the characters had, but. When you see, like, for example, Tom Holland on a red carpet or whatever, yeah, sitting doing an interview. Style. Well, I, I do, I work with a few actors and you get like a, you do a thing called a press junket. And what that is, you get, you know, the actor goes there and speaks to, you know, 30, 40 journalists. He gets about two, three minutes with them and then move on to another one. And um, I get a 45 minute window to style his hair. 45 minutes. That's, that's a lot. So you, it is. So when you're trying to replicate that in 30 seconds in the morning, it's very hard to do, right? I, and I think that's why it's like, I always feel like I'm the bearer of bad news. I always feel like I'm the guy who goes, oh, sorry, mate, you can't do that, you know? Yeah. Because I, I've been on the on that side of it where I know how long it's taken somebody to do that or, or potentially taken somebody to do that. And I'm like, well, you do realise that that is how it's done and you probably won't be able to do that in the mornings. Yeah, and I hate to be like that, but the reality is it's probably not going to be doable the next day. And I don't want to ever turn to that person who they go, I went and seen Dan for a haircut and I couldn't start the next day, you know? Because that's unfortunately the common mis uh, mistake that, that tends to happen, where people go somewhere and they can't, um, they can't replicate it the next day. Like my like, dream hair as a kid was like the Bruce Wayne, you know, like slick back, yeah, 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 like American Psycho. Yeah, American Psycho. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, my hair, why is my hair not like that? And just hair texture. I mean, it, people don't do keratin and all this and that. The but, thing is, we could. Yeah, but you could, you could do the. I mean, you could do the Bruce yeah. Wayne one if you wanted to. That that kind of is. You could do that easily, especially now. Well, maybe maybe not now at the back and sides, but. You probably could, you know, because his hair's much longer at the back, but yeah. I know I know his hair's a lot straighter than yours, but if you're used, you know, I mean, you'd have to put heat on it, unfortunately, but um, it could be doable, though. Yeah. It could be doable. I know a lot of people like that. I've integrated it. I look, I, I, it's just a, a timeless haircut, it really is. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. I, I, I do really like yeah, the hairstyle. Throw in some, like, gel or paste, slick it back for professional look, or wake up in the morning. Yeah, totally. Like, I think right now, like, I love the messy look. Yeah. Like the kind of, you know, yeah, the no, lift, we call when, it lift in here, right? When, yeah, when your hair was like a little longer, your face yeah. would spike here, spike here. I like, like, I love that. It's very hair. short at the moment, yeah. yeah I can't, yeah, I can't it's, it's just a little bit, yeah, it's a bit, my, mine is, mine's much shorter than normal. Um, and I put, what I've done today was put gel on it and then brush the gel out. And that's, or the pomade, I put pomade on <laughs> and then brush the pomade out. Yeah. And that's what creates that kind of straightness. And then I applied some clay afterwards, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I just get to that point where I just, you know, I just, I go through phases, mate. But yeah, I mean, that messy, 
The messy sort of hairstyle was kind of what I started off my career in. Like that was what was popular when I was starting off, yeah. you know. Coming back. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I really enjoy doing that. It's a good. It's a good haircut. Or well, it's a good style, should I say? You know, it's, it comes in, in different shapes and sizes. But I'll be honest with you as well. Like you know, the the sort of like what you're what you're going for, the look you you want to achieve as well. We call that lived in. So it looks as though you haven't done much to it, yeah. but you have done a lot to it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's called lived in. So well, that's what we call it anyway. Could be called. It could be called. Oh, in fact, no, it's a lie. It's not. Do you want another buzzword for it? Buzzword. Bro flow. Bro. Oh yeah, well that's what you call in the US. You see, like, Bro flow. Yeah. You know, the flow, like, you, know, you know the sport of lacrosse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, let me, let me grow up the lax flow. Lax flow. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's like old players have okay. like, the hair flow. Is that what it is? Oh, right, okay. You call it flow, yeah. Like the haircut, yeah. See, that's oh, that's the buzzword yeah. that I've seen flying around lately. Is flow. Is, is bro flow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that just because the hair flows back? I'm guessing yeah, that's what like it means. Yeah. Flow look, yeah. 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 In yeah. Just like American Pie was out when I was like in my teens, you know, and that was like, that was like the ultimate sort of, uh, you know, kind of kid movie. Like, it wasn't really a kid movie, was it? But we we loved it as a me and my oh, mates used to watch that all the time. Like. So what I'm doing now is I'm working. <laughs> I'm horizontal sections now. I'm bringing the top down to the top of the ear. So that's where my guide is going to be. If you have a little look when I pull that through, my guide is what comes through at the top of the ear. Because I just pick it up from part of the consultation was that bringing it down to the ear and then bringing it back was something that I wanted to work on. So I've just got that still in my mind because as you bring that back, as, as, you, as you run your fingers through here, you're going to see that movement sit right back on the, on the way we're doing it now. So hopefully that'll be exactly with the wave that you're looking for, all right? But just still working within the, the head shape as well, all right? I'm just bringing everything down, and I'm getting a bit longer as we get to the front. So as you see, I bring my fingers down, there's not much length coming off the front. Can you see that? But we can we probably about half an inch we sit off the front, right? So do about that. As you can see, it's on a slightly different angle. That just allows me to get a graduation into the hair, but also create like kind of like that that slight long, like longer uh, longer finish. So what I want to try and achieve for the for the actual um, end result, so we can get some volume in that fringe and also have the flow and the wave coming back as we get to uh, towards the crown. Because yeah, it was quite flat there, wasn't it? So it was quite long at the bottom. I can emphasize that in a minute as well. Have you got yourself a diffuser? Oh, diff I know you love that diffuser. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, no, I don't. Maybe I should invest in one. I, I think you should. Yeah, I do. You, you diffuse up, right? I diffuse, I diffuse millions of ways, mate. Um, <laughs> I can do anything you like, mate. I can, we can, you can diffuse any way you like, mate. Um, no, I, 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 it depends on what we're doing, but I'm just thinking for yours, you know, because you, you lay it dry naturally. Yeah. It's the only way you can kind of recreate towel dried wave that you've got yeah. by setting it into, you know, a bit of heat. Because the good thing is, I'll, sh I'll show you in a second, you know, when we talk about heat, because this is quite an interesting conversation about heat, because I, 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 have, I have a lot of people who are, who are for it, against it, not too yeah. sure, you know. But I just want to show you the difference in a diffuser to when you haven't got a diffuser on your on, on your hairdryer, yeah. just so you can feel the difference in the power and how much heat is actually in the in the one place at one time, okay? Because then you'll you'll understand that it doesn't it doesn't actually give off that much heat really, as in like in in one particular area. So you can get away with kind of keeping it over the area for a little bit longer than you would do if I had just yeah. a nozzle on, you know, and then it wouldn't burn the hair. So I know, um, yeah, as long as like. People will knock diffusers, but heat protecting and like drying it to like seventy five percent of the way. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Then then you're all good. Definitely. That's that's all that's what I generally do with diffusers though, you know. I don't always dry the hair completely dry with the diffuser. I just take that very like edge off, you know, um the the, the wet edge off. Um because it can be a little bit too wet sometimes, you know, if like you know, if you, you just let like walk out straight into the street kind of thing. So it just depends what final look you want. Cause I um, I don't know. If to, I've never tried diffuser to get the wave look, but usually if you take like a brush and just regular blow dry and blow it this way, you'll get that swoop. 
do you use, you don't use heat though, do you? You don't use a hairdryer, do you? Oh, like, uh, um, like not, not when it's long, like when it's short. Sometimes. Oh, when it's short, oh, yeah. okay. Well, I was only gonna use a diffuser because you don't like using a hairdryer, but oh, I would, no, I would. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, so I'll just I'll blow dry it normally then. Um, I was just trying to show you something that you, you know, if you, oh. because you were saying before you don't, you don't tend to use heat. Oh, yeah. Um, then obviously oh, okay. you can, there's another way of doing it as well. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I don't think, I never use the diffuser, I don't know how it works, maybe I should get that. Do you know what? It's worth having it in your, uh, in, in your, you know, your, your toolbox and in your arsenal. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent, mate. Without a doubt, uh, it really does help. Because you never know if you, like, you know, if you, if you, there might be a, a look when you're a bit, you know, it gets a bit longer. For example, say, say for example, you want to grow your hair out, mm -hmm. and you're loving the look, but you can't seem to get it dry quickly, or so you want to, so you want to just emphasise what you've got. A diffuser can help you do that. You know, with, with minimal efforts. Again. It's not about, you know, you can obviously spend time on your hair. There's nothing wrong with that. And I do spend time on me hair, on clients' hair most of the time. But when we're doing videos like this, it's all about being realistic and showing you like the yeah. easiest way of doing something. You know, it's then day, it's an educational sort of the reason why we do it tutorials, right? So we want to try and show people how to do something easy and simply, you know what I mean? The one thing I realized though, especially with long hair, my hair would never like Man, it's not signing up, but I'll never like sit back, like, like you know, like nicely, like, like, like the Bruce Wayne or whoever's longer hair, just like have it sit back and won't stay back. Okay, it's just the way my hair lies. I don't know, mm, but you, is that is that with or without product that we're talking about? Oh, without, without, no, well, neither does Bruce Wayne's, you know, what I mean, like it is like that though, you know, it's like it, his, his, not many people's do will stay back without product then. Yeah. It's that the style is cut for product because it's like you think about like Frank Sinatra, you think about um, oh, yeah, like you know, or or like, like the Rat Pack, right? They all had product in their hair. That's yeah. like, that's Presley. kind of how it was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Presley, yeah, Presley's hair wasn't natural like that, was it? So it was full of um, you know, some sort of oh, yeah, like whatever grease. it was called, greaser or whatever it was called. You know. So sorry, was that the was that the razor? It was. Uh, I never felt that before. I felt interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, if it's like um. It's almost like a drag, but without any yeah. pain. Does it thinner? Like, like, will it make my hair look thinner, or just like gets rid of bulk? How does it work? It's, so, um, it will it will thin the hair out to an extent, but it won't it won't thin out to the point where like it will grow out like like it was before. You know, what it'll do is it'll as you slide through, you take thickness out of the hair, but you're forcing the direction because the hair is being cut at a different uh. angle. Uh, so, but the the angle of the razor being cut at like this. It'll be short hair, short hair, short, and then it gets longer and longer and longer. So it's not like an instantly short line of hair. Okay. It graduates up. So it's like tapering almost. So it's not damaging. No, God no. No, it's a single blade. It's the same as a scissor, it's just a single oh, blade. That was interesting. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. Right, I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna try to apply a little bit of this back to California. Okay, yeah, it's a grooming cream. Shea butter, I'm gonna use this because it's got a lot of good things in it as well. Word. All right. So about that much, mm -hmm. okay? About a peanut size, okay? That's why I always say. Yep. Yeah. Now as you can see, even just by the cut, I've done nothing to it, but it's fallen hopefully in the way you're thinking, yeah, right? Exactly. So what we do, work it back. It's fallen in your your natural part, right? Just right there, off centre. Again, I haven't I haven't kind of cut it into that. It's just fallen the way that should be. And you got that nice little bit of height and the way it flicks out, right? Um, I'm just gonna apply the rest of it into the hair like so. Yep. I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna use a vent brush. I'm not gonna use a round brush because I don't wanna to create too much of that kind of, um, I don't I don't wanna create it to make it a bit too big at the front. I want it to flow a bit smoother, all right? So, I'm gonna dry this off from the back first. Let's get that to sit, just a nice bit of volume in it. And then I'm gonna dry the sides in as well. I'm going to leave the front, I'm going to bring this around. By using the vent brush it allows me to manipulate the flow of the way the hair wants to go as well. So you can keep a little bit of that wave in there. And then you'll see what we've created at the back. You, hopefully you'll love the head shape at the back, it looks really cool man. But again, you know when you're talking about heat, you don't need to worry too much about the heat now because we've got a product on your hair oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is a cream, right? Exactly. So we've got a, you've got some sort of protection throughout the whole hair. And that's what I mean, that's why when you're rubbing the product in, 
we need to make sure you apply it all over, not just on particular areas, because then that way there are bits that aren't covered. So. Even this volume work right now, I don't have it. What's that? Even this look like this. It looks cool, doesn't it? Like yeah, man, it looks cool. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's why I was saying to you at the start, like, cutting it uniform allows you to do that. You know, you're not limited to how you want it to look. Right, so, just drying that through that. Now, I'm going to finger dry it now, just to get it into place. Right, so that's blow dried. And now, just to finish, I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm use a little bit of label M actually, in my paste. And this is really nice, okay? This is this stuff, I, I really do like this stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be your particular favorite product, but I wanna show you a different kind of look, okay? Now, it says it's matte, it is matte to an extent, but there is also a slight natural shine to it as well. So I think it's matter than what the other one is. But um, what I like about it, right, is that, and a good way to check a product out as well is if, if the product is got a little bit of shine on your hands, you can have a little bit of shine on your hair, okay? So this is quite matte, but it's got a, a bit of a healthier shine to it. Now, the reason why I'm using this one is because you know the way your hair can be dry and coarse. Yeah. A product like this is quite softening to oh, the hair. Okay. So it just gives a bit more of a softer finish to it, a bit more of a flow, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, working it through my hands, all the way through. You can see there's a slight gloss on it as the light hits it. Yeah. That's what's gonna look like in your hair. And we just work it through. We don't need a lot because again, we've already, you know, we've put some product in already. So I'm just gonna kind of accentuate what we've just cut it like. So cut it to the ear, so it falls back. And then you get that nice flow into the back. And then I'm gonna work it through the top. Get that volume in there. So hopefully that is kind of what you do. I'm hoping it is. I won't forgive myself if it's not. You've made the trip all the way from the States just to have a haircut from me and I've ruined it for you. May I do apologize? <laughs> no, you didn't ruin it. You're not ruining it. You're Dan Gregory. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. There we go. Who thought, mate? Who thought? Yeah. Right. Have a look at this, okay? Okay. Tell me what you think? One second, let me just uh, wipe my hands a second. There we go. So let me just show you this. Thank you. Go here. <laughs> wow. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Wow. So okay. glad. You're not just saying that, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, I have to style it myself, but... Of course, but of course. No, no, no. This, like, exactly. This, I always let it sit like this in the front. Cool, man. But does that, does that fall back well yeah, for you? Yeah, no, no. This is exactly, this is exactly the length I wanted on the side. Okay, perfect. This in the front, perfect. I gathered that's what it was. I was trying to... I was hoping you'd get it right. Let me just do your neck, and I want to show you yeah. the back as well. But I'm going to give you the mirror to have a look, okay? Because it's probably much easier for you to get the gist of where I'm coming from if you see it yourself, okay? Um... And I want you to kind of just have a little play with the back as well, so you can kind of see how the back falls in. But I think it falls nicely, personally, mate. I, I really like it. Oh no, I think this is exactly like how I imagined it. Also, it's just so different for me to see myself like this. It's been so long. I know. I, I was gonna say coming out here. Yeah, yeah. You don't realize how long it is, do you? Sometimes when you until you get your hair cut, you think, bloody hell, that was quite long actually. Because I thought when you came in, I thought you really suited longer hair. Like I wasn't, really? I wasn't overly. So I thought you were going to say, I'm going to keep it longer. I was like, great. You know, I, I didn't really know what we were going to do anyway. I thought you suited both. So it was quite nice. I think if you do ever grow it again, you do, in my personal opinion, you suit it. So. Oh, you did long hair. you think you were suiting? Hmm? Really? Wow. I get both sides. Hold that for me a sec. Stay where you are. Now I'm going to spin you around so you can see. Oh, okay. So look in that mirror in front and look behind you. So what you've got is that nice taper through the bottom. So it's very natural, but you've got that kind of wave sitting into a taper down the bottom. Happy, yeah? <laughs> I'm lost for words. Oh, thanks, man. It's I'm glad we got it right. No, yeah. I love it a lot. Really good. Thank cool, you man. so much. I You're really welcome, mate. It. Mate, let me that for you, mate. Uh, yeah, You're so welcome, man. Lovely to meet you as well. Thank you very much, mate. Glad you like it. 
It's always nice when you get there in the end, mate. There we go. So yeah, that was my that was my little spin on it. Okay, oh, it was what, you, hopefully what you wanted, oh, but you no, as in like that was my spin in terms of like oh. my my take, should I say, oh, no, on no, on no, what no. you told me. No, no, I really like it a lot. Cool, man. Oh, thank <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. You ever have guys crying this year? That's <laughs> not being serious. Uh, no, <laughs> you'll be the first if you do. <laughs> I only cry if they've if they've not liked it, but thankfully I've never had one of them either, so oh, yeah. that's quite good. <laughs>